Pick it easy. A trouble-free subcutaneous injection. It's easy with pick. A subcutaneous injection is called this way because the needle penetrates through the adipose tissue between the skin and muscle. It is especially useful for insulin therapy because it allows for constant slow absorption of the drug. So many people do insulin injections every day to manage their diabetes. Let's find out how to make things as easy as possible. So to begin with, you need a disinfectant pad, an insulin pan, and a pen needle. Do you have everything? That's great! Now let's learn how to prepare for the injection step by step. Take a pen needle and remove the paper tab. Then screw the needle onto the insulin pan, make sure it's good and tight. After that, remove the plastic outer cover. Is that all? Definitely not. We still need to remove the plastic inner needle cover from the needle itself. Be sure to remember this step, otherwise the injection will be very painful and, more importantly, ineffective. And away with the last one! Well done! Now you're ready for the injection! We've learned a little about pen needles, but how do you choose one? They usually come in three lengths. 8 mm, perfect for the fold injection technique. 6 mm, for those who insert the needle slanted. And it's the easiest of them all, 3.5 mm. It doesn't hurt. All you need to do is insert it straight to immediately reach the adipose layer. Did you feel anything? Now cover it with the protective cap, screw it off the pan and throw it away. No, 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 not there, but in the specific bin. Good, this way no one will get hurt. And don't forget, never use it for more than one injection. It's harmful because the needle is no longer sterile and because insulin crystals from inside the needle blocking the flow and making the therapy ineffective. And then it hurts, because it hurts. After the first injection, the needle tip loses its sharpness. That's why any other injections hurt. And then, if you don't change the needle and the area where you do the injection, there are risks of lipodystrophy. Lipodystrophy is a disorder that affects adipose tissue. In the long run, if the injection is not done correctly, the skin hardens, making it more difficult and painful for the drug to be absorbed. An insulin injection can be done in four different parts of the body arms, abdomen, thighs, and buttocks. Make sure to always alternate the sites. This allows the various administration sites to rest a bit. Now that you know all about subcutaneous injections, visit the PIC website and YouTube channel for lots of useful tips about everyday health and about diabetes. And don't forget that you can always ask your physician or pharmacist for help choosing the right therapy and pen needle for your needs. Until next time! And remember, it's easy with pick.